Okay, question two. How would you describe your present relationship with him? My present relationship, I mean, I've prayed to God in times of distress and, and I've gone to God um, when I've had difficulty dealing with certain things. And I always got a great sense of peace about me during those times. But then once the water sort of smoothed out, then I would kind of take it from there and, and I would become Control. negligent on my prayer life or I would become... Um, just wanting to take over control of myself or grab a hold of the wheel again and say, all right, God, you know, I'm going to do the driving now. And that's the type of relationship that I think I, that I have today with, with God. Good, and we're working on improving that. And it's just wonderful that he's beckoning us. It's like, I want it. Mm -hmm. I've been there for you, Paul. Right. But now I want to bring you in a little closer to me. Right. Melinda? I feel that God's been calling us for a while now. We had our lives in control, and then I just feel like every step of the way, it's just been a little knock and a knock and a knock, and we haven't answered the door. Uh, we answer it when we want to, and he's just kind of been a living room guest. But now I think we're both ready for more of an intimate relationship. That's wonderful, and it's good to know he's ready when we're ready. So let's identify anything that would hinder you from experiencing God in a more intimate way. For some people, it may be family isolation, it may be uh, just fear of the unknown. For some, it may just be that you don't know enough about what kind of relationship He wants. Mm -hmm. For some people, it's fear of societal rejection. There's a stigma that goes with being religious. Mm -hmm. Paul, do you want to identify, do you have any berries that you can think of? At this time, I feel like I want to have that deeper relationship with God and go to the next step. The only hindrance for me would be that I'm, in a, I'm going to be competing in a bodybuilding contest and right now between training regimen, diet, etc., you know, I don't know if I have the kind of time that it's going to take to commit. You know, I don't know how much time it's going to take uh, or if I'll have the time to give to God, and that's kind of a struggle for me. It kind of pulls at me because I want to give more to God, and yet right now I feel like it may not be the most opportune time from a time management standpoint. But you do see in the future that there will be more time. Yeah, I'd like to get this behind me, and once I get it behind me, I think that it's definitely going to be a better time for me to open up and open up the door and, and, and to seek more of the Lord. It's important, though, to me, it says to me, that you desire that, that you would take the time out of your busy schedule, as it is right now, to just have this short study. And that's very important to God, that you would sacrifice in the midst of all your schedule that you've committed to. You would take out this time every week to take this study. So what I would suggest to you today as a spiritual nurturer, just take the one step you can take right now, and then let's let God worry about where it takes you. Okay? okay. How's sounds, that sound? It sounds, takes a lot of pressure off. Good, good. Because we want, we, 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 often we feel that God is expecting us to graduate from the 12th grade when the Lord's wanting to hold us and enjoy our baby moments. So let's just enjoy the baby moments and let's take the steps that we can at this time and then we'll build on that, okay? Yes, that sounds How good. How does that sound? Melinda. I feel that a hindrance for me might be family only because of the traditional religion I was raised in. That Sometimes people lose sight of the reasons for studying the Bible more or getting trying to get closer to God you lose, they, some people lose sight and just go with the tradition and it's different, this might be a little different than what right. I was used to. So I feel, I don't know, but I, I do feel that may be a little bit of a hindrance. And society, too, a little bit, but that not as much as family. So I hear you saying 
how important your family is to you. And that's a beautiful thing. I also feel that I'm hearing you say that your family loves God very much and they have an allegiance to a traditional religion and you don't want to destroy that bond. I just, I was never satisfied. I never felt fulfilled. You know, in all the years going to church, I just never felt fulfilled. And I just, I never read the Bible before either, so I, yeah, we were never taught to read it. In reading it, I just feel that my ideas on a more traditional, ritualistic type religion might change. For you, I would like to say that we will also do like Paul. If we're studying the Word, let's just stay in the Word. Mm -hmm. Let's not worry about the religion thing. Right. Because religion in itself is man-made. <clears throat> God's Word is God's Word. So as He leads us, we'll take one step at a time. As you see and discover new things, wherever that leads you, then that same God will help you to be able to resolve the family issue. We'll pray, and I'll pray with you about your families, that they would be able to understand that God may be pulling you into a deeper relationship. And we're going to prepare to pray together because God is a miracle worker. Paul, I'd like for you to take Melinda's hand and we're going to pray. Lord, I thank you so much for loving us. You created that special place in our heart that only you could feel. I thank you, Lord, for that place of spiritual interaction that only you can really fill that void. Lord, I thank you for the pain and the agony that you suffered in death that you could remove the barrier that hid you from us. I praise you, God, for that. And I pray for Paul and Melinda that you would give them the strength as they begin to pursue you. I pray, oh God, open their hearts to know more about you. I thank you for that intimacy that you desire. I pray, oh Lord, as we pursue you even deeper, that you would woo us with your spirit. Let us know in our hearts that you are truly with us at all times and that you are pursuing and desiring even deeper intimate relationship. In the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh Lord, let our hearts be open to everything you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.